Welcome back to the channel guys. If you've seen some of my earliest videos, you know that I'm sort of a crypto and mining enthusiast. While I don't mine like I did back in the day, I still like to dabble. In my gaming rig, I have a Gigabyte 3090 Eagle OC Edition. I've been using my rig to passively mine Ethereum when not gaming, but there's one problem, the memory temperatures. This card is new, like literally one month old new, and with my current OC, I see memory temps cresting 108 degrees with an ambient room temperature of about 75 Fahrenheit. Today, I'm going to see if adding heat sinks to the back plate of the card will help dissipate heat and lower my memory temperatures. Now, I bought these heat sinks off of Amazon. They run 10 bucks for four of them and I bought two packs. They're 40 millimeter by 40 millimeter with an 11 millimeter fin height and they come with thermal pads pre-applied which is nice. I'm going to install these in such a way that my fin channels line up down the length of the card so that the 80 millimeter Noctua fan I place on top of the card can move heat away on either side. After reinstalling the card and mining for a couple hours, again with an ambient temperature of about 75 degrees Fahrenheit in the room, I'm seeing temperatures fluctuate between 104 to 106 Fahrenheit for the memory, leaving us with a delta of only about 2 to 3 degrees which is woefully underwhelming. So while the pads do work, I don't think they work well enough to make a significant difference in your hash rate or temperature performance. Something we can do is step down the memory overclock and reduce the power limit in our minor preferences and see what this produces. Removing the 800 megahertz memory OC and dropping the power limit from 330 watts to 275 watts lowers our temperatures by almost a 10 degree delta and leaves us at 98 degrees sustained. Again, in 75 degrees Fahrenheit ambient temperatures. It's also worth noting that my hash rate dropped from about 105 mega hashes per second down to around 90 mega hashes per second. So there is a performance hit associated with these changes. I guess it kind of comes down to whether you'd be happier with better hash rate or potential longevity of the card. So I guess in conclusion, the heat sinks and thermal pad addition do help. Uh, but I don't think they help enough to warrant the cost and time commitment to installing them. Uh, plus, there's the risk that the thermal pads could leak thermal grease, uh, which generally is okay, but it does ruin the aesthetic of the card. And given that these are on the back plate, which is what you're going to see uh, most often when looking at the card while it's installed, I don't love it. I may tear this card down and water cool it in the very near future. So if that's something that interests you, let me know in the comments and be sure to subscribe so you don't miss it. Also, if you have any recommendations on how to better tune this card for Ethereum mining, I would love to hear them. With that, I'll see you in the next one.